Hello, and we are back out here with the pull sled. So what I've done today is add this plastic skid on it, and it was it was sufficient for for trying it out and trying it a little bit here and there. But I can already tell I'm going to break it. It was already pretty wobbly, so I welded this one up, and this one's got some weight to it. So we're going to add quite a bit of poundage to the front. Yeah, I'm hoping to add at least a pound or two. So let me get that mounted up, and we'll go from there. Got the new and improved sled. So what I did is I put a pin through here and then just uh, put this cotter clip over here, the screw, and we are getting some weight in that front. I also added this plate and the idea is take this and mount it on the front and then we got that nice skid so when we're slinging mud and dirt backwards, it's not getting all up inside the sled components. I'm going to get that mounted and be about ready to test this thing. Now here is what I've come up with. I've got the uh, nice aluminum skid in the front, just barely off the ground. Uh, I added a uh, heavier duty chain lug and chain. And don't forget the RC Trail Cat sticker. So this is... Uh, this should allow it to tip forward a little bit, and then it hits there on the frame to keep it from going too far forward. And same with the back, just a little tiny bit each way. Now I'm thinking this, this should uh, definitely be a little bit more of a challenge to pull. I did weigh it, and we're up to nine pounds now. Started off at seven, so added at least two pounds with all the all the metal I've added to the front end of this thing. Let's get it hooked up and check it out. Okay, we are hooked all up. It is going to be Battle of the Monster Trucks. Down to the other orange markers, the full pull. We've got the 9-pound sled and the 2.5-pound weight, so we're starting off at 11.5 pounds. Let's go. Absolutely no problems with 11.5, so uh, threw some more weight in there. And we are up to, we were 11 and a half, 12, 14 pounds now. Let's see what it does. Oh, another full pull out of Gravedigger on 14 pounds. Okay, we are at 17 pounds now. Let's see what happens. She just full pulled 17. I've added another pound. See if it'll keep going. We're at 18 now. Well, that is a limit. I'm going to put a marker down by the tire. And we are measuring this by the rear tire of the sled, because that's where the starting point is in the back. So that's as far as it went, 18 pounds. Last full pull was at 17. Let's hook up a good old bullhead down there and go. All right, the bullhead is all hooked up, and we're starting off same as before. We'll be starting with 11 and a half pounds. Let's rock. Not a problem. I'm going to scoot it back and add another two and a half. All right, 14 pounds, ready to rock. Not a problem in the world. I just went ahead and bumped it right up to the final weight of the Gravedigger. So we are at 17 and a half pounds. If it full pulls it, it is the champion. Oh, we have a champion, folks. 
but it's going to keep going. I'm going to keep adding some weight to it. Figure heck with it. Let's see what we can do. I threw 20 in it. Well, how the answer is that? <laughs> Rear bumper's gone. Let me see what I can do about that. There's technically nothing hurt. The bumper just uh, slides on, so it popped off. No big deal. But uh, I put it up in the chassis, so let's just hope for the best. <laughs> All right, uh, that one causes her to pop wheelies. Guess I need some more weight on the front before I can do 20 pounds. Yeah. Bullhead is our clear winner. I think she would have full pulled 20 if I could have kept those daggone wheels in the front and down so I could steer. It was riding a wheelie and I, I had no steering. It was just going at the will of the will of nature, seeing where it went. But uh, thanks for watching. This has been a blast. Uh, I think these monster trucks are even more exciting than the crawlers to do truck pulls with. Oh, we'll catch you on the next video where we will be challenging something else.